When are you going to be back? I just finished work. It'll take some more time before I get home. Is everything okay? What are you up to? Do you know what time it is? What do you mean? Where is my dinner? I'm asking when my meal will be ready. Seriously though, you have to step up your game. Have you got absolutely no consideration for other people? I'm really hungry, can you imagine that? I'm still at work though. I can't believe I live with someone as irresponsible as you. I shouldn't have come here if this is how I'll be treated. Oh, poor me. Didn't you have a big argument with your husband? My personal affairs are none of your business. Why do you think that it is all right to judge my decision? I'm not judging you. I'm just explaining why you're staying in my house. Well, I don't need your explanation then. You know what? I really don't like people like you who think they're superior. I mean, I've never seen you do any household chores since I moved in. How can you call yourself a homemaker when you just laze around? I've never called myself a homemaker. I do have a job and you're an adult who can take care of yourself. And most of the time you have to cook your own dinner if no one's around. Kane and I often work overtime. Are you telling me that my precious baby Kane cooks meals for you? We've been married for over a year and this is the arrangement we agreed on. He doesn't cook more than I do. We share the chores to make things easier. I haven't had any issues with this arrangement until now. You're a terrible wife, but I won't let you do the same thing with me. Don't you dare take me for a pushover, do you understand? I never said you were easy to push around in the first place. You know what? The reason why you don't have children is because you work late every day. When will I even meet my grandkids? You must pull yourself together, workaholic. That's a bit harsh. Kane and I are doing our best to save money. I don't care how hard you work to earn money. Working 12 hours a day won't make you rich overnight. Remember, you're a woman. As far as I'm concerned, there's no gender discrimination in my workplace. Well, if your monthly income won't help you become wealthy, then you should quit your job. Focus on being a full-time wife and mother at home. That's the true definition of a happy family. Besides, I don't want to starve to death anymore. Starve to death? Don't you think you're exaggerating? Fine, I'll be back in about a minute. Can you wait a bit longer? Then hurry up. If you're not back in 10 minutes, then the only thing you'll see when you do come home is smashed plates. I'll do my best. Just take a breath and calm down. What's the matter with you? Is something wrong again? If you're wondering about your beloved baby Kane, he's away on a business trip. I believe he informed you about it, but you might have forgotten. I'm referring to your salary. Excuse me? What about my salary? I discovered your paycheck the other day. Are you serious right now? You entered my bedroom without permission? Please inform me beforehand if you plan on going through my personal belongings next time. Or better yet, don't. Why do you care so much? The thing is, I was genuinely shocked when I saw the amount on your paycheck. What do you mean? I work tirelessly every day to support this family. So I don't think you have the right to point fingers at me. Besides, I am content with my current job. I might consider quitting or changing careers in the future when the kids arrive. That being said, you shouldn't criticize me just because I'm not perfect at household chores. Your salary is higher than Kane's? Pardon me? What's happening to you? Am I a joke to you? I won't tolerate a woman who steals the limelight from my son. That's why you're walking all over him. Please hold on for a moment. What are you talking about? It doesn't make sense for you to earn more money than your husband. Is this how you treat the man you're married to? Shame on you. You're not making any sense. What did I do to offend you so deeply? I don't even know how much Kane earns every month, but it doesn't matter because we both contribute to our joint bank account regularly. I won't tolerate your behavior anymore because it hurts Kane's pride. Also, I used your savings. Excuse me? This should even the score. What do you want from me? I happen to find out about your personal savings account as well. Is this some kind of joke? I depleted it all this morning. Now you're finally on the same level as Cain. Do you realize what the words you said could potentially mean? Let me tell you, I think it might be best for both of you to get a divorce. What do you think? Pardon me? I don't see a future in this marriage. I'm so confused by what you're aiming for. Moreover, I just logged into my online bank account and something seems off. What on earth did you do? 
blame yourself for writing your bank account password on a flimsy piece of paper and casually placing it under your pillow. Hold on for a moment. Are you messing with me? What? You want to challenge me or something? Divorce my son, you witch. Give him back his independence. It doesn't make any sense for you, the wife, to earn more money than your husband, who is expected to be the provider for this family. I cannot tolerate a daughter-in-law who steals the limelight from my son. Sounds good to me. What? I dare you to repeat yourself. Did you just say you're leaving my son? Are you prepared for the consequences then? I've made the decision to divorce Kane. Regarding the division of assets, I will sit down and discuss it with him face to face when he returns. Furthermore, I'm moving out and never coming back. Living in this house feels like a living nightmare with you acting as the devil. Please inform your son about what I just said as well. He's currently on a business trip and I don't want to disturb him. However, you could deliver the message more accurately since he's your precious child. Are you satisfied now? If it bothered you so much, you should have encouraged me to get a divorce earlier instead of taking my money. By the way, tell him what you did to me which led to the divorce. I mean, if you're willing to go this far just to make me leave your son, then you must take responsibility for your actions as well. I assume you're an honest person, right? If so, don't prove yourself to be the opposite. My bottom line is, don't let your son down. Hold on a second, are you seriously filing for a divorce? You don't have to take my words so literally, I simply spoke my mind in the heat of the moment. But isn't that what you've been wanting all along? I listened to your desire and now you have another problem. You know what? I've done everything I could. Yes, that's what I want, alright? You're not the ideal daughter-in-law for me or the ideal wife for my son. He needs a woman who is available for him 24-7. But don't you think everything is happening too quickly? I'm not asking you to divorce him this very moment. After all, he's not even aware of our conversation. Well, it will be your responsibility to convey our conversation to him. Anyway, I have to leave now. I can't bear another day living under the same roof as you. Better run away before I'm completely broke. Hey, Linda, are you free? Can we talk for a moment? Where are you currently? Why are you so late today? Why aren't you at home? Are you at work again? Taking a break once in a while won't get you fired. It's nearly midnight now. It would be best if you came back no matter how many jobs you have. It can't possibly take this long to finish. What do you mean? Kane and I are already divorced. In simpler terms, I have no connection to either of you anymore. Obviously, I'm not going back to that house. I mean, as long as you're still there, returning would not be possible for me. I refuse to share my home with a thief. You should be arrested for what you did. Moreover, the sight of your face disgusts me. It's hard to believe you're the mother of the man I once loved. I wouldn't have married him if I had met you beforehand. That's really rude. I'm still your mother-in-law and I believe I deserve some respect, don't you think? There was no need for you to react so strongly towards me. Oh, really? Because I think you deserve all the rudeness in the world. Someone needs to teach you a lesson, and if anyone's going to do it, it'll be me. This might surprise you, but I'm not your obedient pet. I don't move or act according to your commands. I'm a human being, and I can throw a fit whenever I want. This isn't how you should talk to an elder. We may not be best friends, but it's still important to maintain some level of respect. Come back right now and we can start fresh. I'll let it go this time if you apologize. Excuse me? I should apologize to you, shouldn't it be the other way around? I'm older than you, so mind your words, young lady. Remember that your husband is my son. You must humble yourself when speaking to me. But I have absolutely no intention of doing what you just told me. In fact, I think you should be put in your proper place. Do you not know what matters are? Don't you realize that you committed a crime? You stole my money and squandered it on gambling, am I right? What? How did you find out? I've known for a while now. Your husband told me everything. But I never could have imagined you blowing away all my savings in just one sitting. Anyway, I'm going to report you to the police. You're going to involve the police? What are you talking about? You and I simply don't see eye to eye with each other. It's not that big of a deal. Getting the police involved isn't necessary. Too bad for you. You should have considered the legal consequences of theft before gambling. 
Once again, it is a big deal because you're now a criminal. As I mentioned earlier, I'm fully on board with a divorce if that's what you've wanted for a long time. And I have no problem cutting ties with you as my mother-in-law. Here's the thing, even if we're divorced, I can still live in the same house with Kane, just like a married couple would. But you need to remove yourself from my life as soon as possible. Hold on a second. Why am I the one being kicked out when I'm simply asking you to come back? Don't you think you're going too far? You know what? Come back first and we'll take it from there. Hmm. I'm not entirely convinced about that. Here's the thing. Kane is supporting my side. I know he lost his temper with me when he found out you moved out. So now he's shouting at me, demanding that I leave his house. But the problem is, I have nowhere else to go. Moreover, I never expected things to turn out like this. Why don't you come home first? Did you even listen to what I said earlier? I'm planning on calling the police. Plus, I won't go anywhere near that house as long as you're still living there. Taking it this far isn't necessary, don't you think? I mean, I acknowledge that I might have made mistakes in the past, but what matters is I won't repeat them. Isn't this enough? Where did you get the notion that people are obligated to forgive you, no matter what you do? Because I will never forgive you. Answer me this. Who tells their son to divorce his wife simply because she earns more money than him? Do you honestly believe it's normal to spend someone else's money without their knowledge or permission? Are you out of your mind? Furthermore, you use that money for your own benefit. In other words, you stole money from me just to indulge in gambling. Well, there's no need to attack me like this. Society will condemn you for mistreating an elderly person. You're more alive and kicking than most 60-year-olds out there. So stop playing the victim only when you're at a disadvantage. In fact, your husband doesn't have a single penny to his name right now because of you. You wouldn't be in this situation if you didn't gamble day and night and constantly ask for money. Isn't that why you're homeless? He didn't kick me out. We simply agreed to give each other some space. It seems like he's actually filing for a divorce, though. Are you serious? This can't be true. Why don't you ask him directly? Besides, you're practically a stranger to me now, so I have nothing more to say to you. Wait a moment. First of all, I know I messed up. It was my fault for stealing money from you, but I really can't afford to get kicked out at the moment. I have no one else to rely on. Kane is all I have. To be completely honest with you, I'm drowning in debt. You're not going to turn a blind eye to my situation, right? Well, this just proves what a terrible person you are, stealing money from me to pay off your own debts. Frankly speaking, I never expected you to be such a jerk. The good thing is that I love Kane, and he loves me back. That's the only reason why I've been holding myself back until now. But then you went beyond all limits. Kane completely lost his temper. Linda, can you help me? Can you lend me a hand? We're family, aren't we? I promise I'll do my best to become a completely different person. I won't ever ask you to cook dinner for me again. I swear. It's too late. You're an adult, and adults take responsibility for their actions. It's time for you to mature. Ironically, isn't it? Anyway, you only have two choices now, so make up your mind quickly and let me know before I completely lose my temper. I suggest you repay the money you owe me and stay out of trouble because if you don't, I'll let the police know what you did. I'm as poor as a church mouse right now. There's absolutely no way I can pay you back. Do you want to see me become homeless? I already apologized, didn't I? I'll do anything in exchange for a second chance. I'm begging you, Linda. I guess I wasn't in the right state of mind back then, so please accept my apology. Besides, don't you think it's unfair to put me in this situation? Law enforcement agencies wouldn't exist if an apology could solve all problems. Seriously, though, according to your logic, every prisoner should be released as soon as they say sorry, right? Needless to say, I hope you spend every day regretting your guilt from now on. Don't forget, what goes around comes around. Anyway, I still wish you luck in finding a job soon. Let me share a secret with you. Earning money is much harder than spending it. Daisy is finally experiencing the consequences of her actions. Her life has been completely transformed since then. I was utterly tired of her behavior, and it was evident how she constantly controlled and dominated me. It was quite a relief when Kane kicked her out after discovering everything, and I genuinely admire his wise choice. It wouldn't be good to have such a toxic family member around, let alone calling her mom. Presently, Daisy is overwhelmed with work every day, trying to pay off her debts. Sadly, she possesses nothing but an overdrawn bank account, and she has to work, say, a part-time waitress at a fast food joint, 
working 10 hours a day with no weekends or holidays. Furthermore, her current apartment is the most dilapidated one I've ever seen, situated in a dangerous neighborhood. Frankly, I doubt she can even survive there. It's quite evident how tough life has become for her. Daisy lives paycheck to paycheck earning minimum wage. Recently she seemed to have a sudden realization and acknowledged her despicable behavior. They say you reap what you sow and she has received the punishment she rightly deserves. In my opinion, Daisy is a living testament to the saying that what goes around, comes around. It's crucial to treat others the way we want to be treated.